it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing Mixed Media Frenzy, so that means it's Friday. And I'm doing it along with Kathy and also Shannon. So today I'm going to be using my How to Kill a Kit um, with Style Kit. Um, I'm going in and I'm cutting out these stars and the photo that you just saw is a photo of my son being cute. He had this little headband on, headband bandana and some sunglasses and he was just looking really cool. So um, we took a cute picture of him and so I decided to scrapbook it. So I'm going in with my die cutting machine, my Sizzix, and I'm just cutting out these um, stars and I'm going to put them on the two, one page that you just saw, they had the black and white on it. That's the, um, that's going to be my background. And I'm going to be using these green, uh, paper to cut out these, um, stars. And of course I'm going to gesso my back cause I'm going to do some mixed media cause that's what we are doing. Mixed media frenzy. And I'm going to trim it down a little bit. Now these papers, um, from my Jen Hatfield collection are a little flimsy. They're not real thick. So, um, I do need to, whenever I do mix media on them, I do need to back them with another paper. So I'm going to be using that other checkered paper, black and white checkered paper that you see to kind of frame it like that, just so that it holds up my mixed media and it doesn't warp and um, get all messy. So I'm going in with this new Nouveau Glacier paste that I bought because this week our focus is on paste and I love this paste it's got a little glittery shimmer to it and it's smooth and it just goes through so well on this stencil and I'm using the Heidi Swatch stencil I use this stencil a lot um, and I got it in one of the hip kits from the hip kit club and I really, really like it because it's got three different um, stencils in one. So it's pretty cool. And the good thing about this is with me gessoing, if I make a mistake, I could go in and wipe it right up. And it's fabulous. I love using the gesso because if you make a mistake, it's easy to clean up. And you're going to see I'm going to make a huge mistake coming up right now. And I'm going to have to wipe that up. See the big blob? I accidentally went over the sides of the edge of the stencil and now I'm just gonna wipe it up with the baby wipe and it's all gone so I did go in with my heat gun and dried it all up and some of the stars are a little messy but that's okay because see I covered them with the bigger stars so it would just kind of give it a little bit more texture to the page and I really like the gold because his glasses looked a little bit goldy and shiny and and then he had a lot of green on, so that's why I put in the green, and he had black and white. So I thought this was the perfect um, background paper and everything to go with the picture. So now I'm going to go in here, and I am going to back my photo with some of these papers. These are all scraps that I'm having. I'm trying to get through my kit and use up all my papers, and I'm doing a pretty good darn job of it, I'll tell you. Um, it's been a challenging for me because um, some of my photos really don't go with these papers, but I wanted to challenge myself, so that's been working out though. And I've gotten quite a few um, so far. I think I've done like seven layouts and um, using my um, How to Kill a Kit, and it's been great. So, and I love every single one. They look really great. So. The stars are going to be placed just how you see them now, but I am going to pop them up on foam dots. I am distressing the edges of my papers um, that are backing my photo because I kind of want to give it a little bit more interest. And I'm going to go in with the green one too because I wanted to have a little pop of that green in there also. And once I get all of these down that I'm backing it with, I'm going to back the whole thing with a um, black cardstock because I wanted it to kind of show because of the white background. Um, and that's how it's going to go. So I'm still going to go on with this dotted um, gold foiled um, paper and this striped black one. 
and I'm just trying to use up my scraps so I'm just you know taping them on the back of my photo just trying to make some layers and um, I really like the way it turned out this um, layout turned out really great because the colors in the photo for my son and what he was wearing and then the colors that I was able to get out of the kit um, really worked out well so I was happy about that and actually the pattern that's on the stars is kind of like the pattern that's in his um, uh, hat that he has on I guess you would call it <laughs> I don't know it's a scarf and um, his dad put it on him and tied it on him and it just looked really cute and um, he liked it and now I'm just trimming it down and I'm going to distress that also I distress each piece because I want to make sure you know it's popping up off the page and making it look a little more interesting and now I'm gonna use the black cardstock just to kind of frame the whole thing and I just have a little bit of the black peeking out just so it you know pops up off the page a little bit and doesn't just blend in with the background and there you go and so that's how it's gonna go and I'm gonna go in with my um, craft foam and I'm going to back everything with it to pop it up off the page now my stars I um, do pop up all of the large ones but the tiny ones that you see there I just leave those flat and I did have to glue everything down because of the mixed media and using the gesso um, I want to make sure it stays so I glued everything down and now I'm just going to show you a couple of the stars that I'm going to glue down also I just stuck a little piece of foam on the back and glued it and stuck them down and I just kept pressing on them because I wanted to make sure they were stuck because with gesso um, it's very hard to make things stick and I do use sketch glue and it does work very well so um, I really like this glue And now I'm just going to do the little ones. And I was going to do my tape and then I'm like, oops, nope, got to use glue. It's not going to stick with the tape. And I'm just going to do this one. And then I do the bottom. And I don't think I show you every one. Because we'll be here a while. <laughs> and there you go. So that's how my photo is going to go. And I like the stars going up in the top and I like having the gold too stars because it kind of goes with the glasses um, that he's wearing that has that kind of gold glare to them and it just looks really neat. So I'm just pressing it down, making sure it's going to stay stuck to the page. And now I'm going to go in with some embellishments. I don't use much embellishments because of the stars and you know the um, stenciling of the stars I just felt like it was gonna be too much so I didn't want to do too much embellishing so that tag that you see there that says love this I don't end up using it it ends up coming off because I end up putting my title there instead and now I'm looking at the stars and they look a little plain to me so I really wanted to jazz them up a little bit so first I go in with these stars because I have this paper pad here that was in my kit also and they're just chipboard pieces and they had stars in them and they had them in black and white and gold and I thought this is perfect. So I just scattered the, a couple of those around and then you're also going to see me go in and put some on top of the stars which are a little bit different. They look like little splatters, um, like splatters of paint I guess. See, there's a gold one and then there's black ones and so I just kind of stuck them in the middle of my stars just to kind of make them pop off the page a little bit more and show a little more interest and I stuck those on there and then on the little stars I go in with these little X's or crosses I don't know you could if they could be either or um, that were also on here and they were gold and black ones and I stuck those on little ones like that and it just made them look a little bit better and kind of jazzed them up a little bit gave them a little bling and you know us scrapbookers we like our bling 
So at least I do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is how it's going to go. And that ticket will come out in a minute. You'll see me put in my title. And my title is going to be Meet Cute. Because he is just such a cutie pie. I mean, even at school, the teachers are always saying he is such a cutie pie. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. He could be bad and he's still cute. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, but he can be bad. And I know he looks cute, but he still has to be disciplined when he's bad. But it's so hard when they're so cute, you know. And he is definitely a cutie pie. And he's a ham. And he just um, really is so lovable. And the teachers just adore him. And he's just, he's like an old soul. He's like 85 years old in this little body. And he just knows everything. And he's the smartest boy ever. And you can't tell him no different because he's always right. And I'm always wrong. And his daddy's always wrong. And his sister and brothers are always wrong. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's a little bit about my son. and But he is a very much a cutie pie. And we just adore him. And so do his teachers. So now I'm going in with some Nouveau Drops. And, of course, I love my new Nuvo drops, so I do try to put them on my layouts um, as much as I can because I really like using them. Um, I usually do three little clusters. I do a big one, a medium one, and then a small one. I'm still getting used to doing it. Now, these stone drops, I, I still can't get them perfect the way I would like them, but I'm getting there. I practice. And now I'm going in with um, some of my Glimmer Mists by Tattered Angels. And this one is Sunflower. And it's got a gold shimmer to it. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit around and make some splatters. And then I'm also going to go in with the green one. And the green one is called Golden Leaves. And I really like that one too. And it went perfectly with the um, green. So I scattered some splatters of that around also. And I forgot to tell you, the Nouveau Glacier paste that I used, it is a golden paste. And here are your close-ups. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you again soon. And I will have all the ladies attached below who are also in this. Um, I will have their links, and also everyone who is doing Kill a Kit with Style. Thanks again for watching, and remember, stay crafty. Bye!